I am no one, Gabrielle. I have no sparkles. <laughs> she looks dangerous and fun. <laughs> Whatever, nope. man. You kicked that song's ass. He did kick that song's ass. Those body lines. <laughs> wow. Hi, guys. This is Blade again. I'm Ginger. And I'm Mike. And so we keep getting Dream Theater requested. We do. I heard a couple of their songs. You're one up on me. Or so a you don't... <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I've ever played them in the house when you're around. I don't know. It's possible I've heard something and I just don't know it's them. Yeah, I kind of accidentally tripped over them a couple of times. And, and uh, I mean, they were good. Was it anybody just... hurt? Only me ever. <laughs> That's typical, though. <laughs> Isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's how you roll. So I said, well, let's do one because you, when you told me that you had not even heard of them, I was like, oh, okay, and now we have to do one of them because they're huge. Yeah, I don't think they have. Yeah, another band that, that has gone past, under our radar. It's one of those names that, that sounds vaguely familiar. Maybe it's just because I know Dream Academy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, they sound kind of familiar. Maybe I've heard of them. Maybe I've heard them, but... I'm Maybe I've reacted to them six times and forget because yeah. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> I don't know. I checked man. the channel. We haven't. <laughs> uh, this one, though, I think is a brand new song. Oh, cool. Well, I then recall. I definitely haven't heard No, it. I know I haven't for sure. So. All right. Oh, wow. Do you hear the rush right away? Mm. Screaming to the 80s kid in me.
very tool-like now. to flap his wings. <laughs> so I can't be the only person who whenever I see a Fibonacci squirrel, a swirl, squirrel, not squirrel. Spiral. Spiral, swirl. I was saying swirl, but yes, spiral. Well, I think a tool. Ah, then for you do. <laughs> I'm probably the only, no, I can't be the only person you who goes that way. The only one. But to your initial reaction there, it was very rush. Right? It had, uh, had the, I mean, I'm no rhythmic specialist, no percussionist, yeah. but it had a very Neil Peart feel on the drums to me. Seriously as, did. As a layman. Yeah. And, and some of the bombastic stuff on the guitar and bass. For real. Kind of jumping out. Yeah. I hope they're flattered by that because it is a compliment. Well, I mean... I mean, Rush is in the Hall of Fame, I think, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> for, so, for reasons. I have mentioned on this channel that I am not a Rush fan. Mainly but because have, of Getty. He's a very talented artist, but his voice irritates my ears. So I was going to ask you. So, pick something this has very, all the good of Rush without <laughs> Getty Lee's voice. I was going to say, did you enjoy that? Yeah, because I really did. it was did. quite Rush-like, but no Getty. It put me in a really good mood. Oh, good. Right? Like it had, had a very kind of uplifting feel to the mm -hmm. sound. I loved it. I liked it was like a journey. When I when I said it, it was starting to remind me of Tool quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Like two thirds of the way through, that it did that transition. I thought, oh, this is the way Tool takes you through a journey in their mm -hmm. songs too, which is also one of those things. A lot I lighter really love. than Tool, though. Yes. Well, mm -hmm. yes. Which Sound makes wise, it easier for me to listen to. <laughs> Why do I keep you? Uh, Why do I? You don't want keep me to you? say in public. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? We talk about stuff like that all the time. So okay. I have a personal story. All right, let's go. <laughs> totally unrelated to the song or the video. Well, sort of the video. But all the little watches and that sundial reminded me. I don't think I've ever told you this story. When I was in grade eight, I think, I did like a science building project. It's a, a different methods of time. I mm -hmm. can't even remember exactly what it was about. And my dad helped me build like the presentation board for it, right? It was... If I'm, if I recall correctly, probably the only woodworking project we ever did together. Mm -hmm. It was really good, and it came out really beautiful. <laughs> I believe I failed that project because, and I never told my dad. the The board was so big and so heavy, 
and my walk to school was like an hour long. I couldn't carry it to school. Oh no. So, and I couldn't get a ride. Like my parents were at work all the time. So I ended up having to leave it at home and just tell the teacher I didn't do it. I felt really bad about oh. it because my dad worked really hard to help me. See, in this day and age, you could have just taken digital photos of yourself with it on your phone and gone, look, I just couldn't get it here, man. Here it is. <laughs> These were the struggles, man. It the was a struggle long walk is to real. school. Yeah. <laughs> but it That's reminded me of that because, yeah, the sundial on my project was actually very cool. Nice. But, yeah, I don't think I ever told my dad that story. Sorry, Dad. I know you worked hard. <laughs> I was I appreciated it a lot. And I was really disappointed that I it was all for nothing. Oh, no. But anyway. did you learn something? Yes. I learned a love of working with wood. There you go which um, anybody who knows anything about us in this channel knows I have used many times. It's true. So anyway, back to the song and enough about me. Is it ever really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is sometimes. That was really good. So uh, we're gonna, how did you feel about it? You that wanna do good, another yeah. Dream Theater song yeah, another time? More. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Let's. All right. All it's right. A date. Oh. <laughs> I love those with you. Thank you. Hopefully you all enjoyed that too. I know you're going to want to say play it again. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications. You can find us on Twitter. We are at playitagainmg. And thanks for coming out, guys. <laughs>